how long do you think this is going to stay tidy for before the puppies annihilate it? A minute or two? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and today I thought we would do a introduce you to the puppies properly kind of video. So we have had um, in September last year um, two Italian greyhound puppies and they are beautiful. So we've got Willow and Coco. They are just over five months old now so I thought it would be time to bring them upstairs, pop them on the bed and introduce you to my two little babies so I'm going to go and fetch them put them on here they are going to go absolutely wild I'm just going to let you know now um but yeah let's meet the babies come on then girls jump on got you some toys now oh yeah what have we got we've got your favorite toys we got oh you already want the treats do you want the treats <laughs> Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hi now, come back up here. Whoa, come on now. Okay, guys, let's get them settled. I've got some treats. Uh, excuse me. Right, can I have a sit, please? Good, Coco, yes. Willow, sit. Sit. Willow, sit. No? Yes, good girl. Coco, sit. Look at me. Yes. Shake. Yes. Good job. Okay, guys. So, this little beanie here, she is, this is my little Coco Bean. Come on, you darling. You're my little Coco Bean. She's so good and she's so tiny. And this one here is Willow. She is crazy. So, they are sisters. They are from the same litter. They are... Italian greyhound puppies. Coco is classed as fawn and Willow is um, blue. There you go, they're nice. Impatient little things. I've never known dogs to be so food orientated ever. It's absolutely crazy. I'm hoping they're going to go and settle down in the background in a minute, but <laughs> who got that one? <laughs> Jake. Yes, good girls. Here you go. A little bit more and then it's all gone. Okay, here you go. Here you go. I'm just feeding them at the minute these Langham's um, meat to beef strips made using 100% beef. They absolutely love them. They're great for training because you can rip them up into tiny pieces with the cumin strips and just break a bit off. Out of the packet, please. Girls, up here. Up. Go on then, Willow. You get yours. Coco here. She's doing tricks down here on the floor. Come here, look. Come and say hi to the camera, look, while we've got you, look. And she's like, oh, mummy, look at her. She's got hers. Are you eating that, Willow? Oh, my days. That was quick. Okay. Willow, come here. Come here. Good girl. Come and say hi. Say hi to the camera. So, guys, this is Willow. She weighs, how much do you weigh? Four, oh, four, oh kilos at the minute. Um, you were weighed this morning, weren't you, darling? So she's gaining weight nicely. Um, we got her first in these. <laughs> we got her first in the September, a couple of days after Rupert's birthday. Um, and I had been looking for an Italian greyhound for a while, um, and I knew exactly what I wanted. And she came up, and she was just advertised Willow and she was just perfect she was just exactly what I wanted the breeder was absolutely amazing I contacted the breeder um, we went to go and have a look at the puppies we were the first ones to view the whole litter there was a litter of five and um, there was four blue and one fawn um, so we went to go and have a look and I'd already got my eye on Willow and um, yeah we went to have a look and she just came out and came straight up to me and fussed me and gave me a kiss and it was just lovely and I thought I knew I'd sort of chose her in my heart but then she chose us when we got there it was lovely um so I will insert some clips of the first time we met her and I've got some little video clips as well she was tiny 
like super, super small. Um, so we had to wait a few weeks to be able to bring her home. Um, obviously she was too young. She needed to have like a, you know, a vaccinations and microchip and all that sort of thing. You can't have that. You can try, but you can't get into it. Um, and yeah, we went and fetched her on the Friday morning and, um, brought her home. I will insert some clips of her gotcha day. She was, she's just perfect. She's absolutely amazing. She has brought so much joy um, to our family. I know we've got the boys, but she has brought so much love and joy and she's kept me on my toes like crazy. What's this? You love this one. You love this one. It's your pink flamingo. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Coco's trying to get in the packet down here. So we had Coco, uh, Willow for four weeks before we got Coco. Um, and I stayed in touch with the breeder and obviously was sending pictures um, of her settling in with us and the kids loving her and she messaged me and said I've still got the little fawn girl and I'm like oh how is she doing and she says uh, whoever was meant to have been having her this, the, the you know her new home fell through and asked me if I'd be interested in bringing Willow home. And at the time I was like, no, I've got three dogs. They're absolutely crazy. I was only mentally prepared to have one puppy, not two. And I'm thinking, how am I gonna afford them all? You know, healthcare, pet insurance, the healthy pet clubs, the food. It's not just buying the dog. It's, to be honest, that's probably the cheapest part. It's the outlays after you've brought them home. I mean, they, 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 they've cost a fortune. Um, and I spend a fortune on them because they're worth it, but I want them to only have the best. I was like, no, I can't have another puppy. I can't do... What are you doing? Coco. She's currently doing diggers. She, I think she thinks she can dig right down to Australia. She's not getting very far, apart from wrecking my covers. Um, so are you going to come here? Say hi. Wait, what's this? What's this? Are you not cheap? Are you not cheap? Are you not cheap? Coco! I'm sorry about the noise Coco's making. So yeah, so back to about Coco. Um, I was like, no, I can't do another puppy. It's too much. Um, you know, finances, everything else. How am I going to walk four dogs, let alone three dogs? Anyway, I said to Mark, what shall we do? I'd sort of said, no, I'm not having another puppy, three's enough. And he was like, Kaylee, Willow's really quite needy, which she was. The boys didn't take, the boys took to her fine, Chester and Ted, but she was just, she wanted to snuggle him and they were like, don't want to play with you. You're too small, you're too bouncy, you're too noisy. She wanted to be picked up all the time and cuddled, which was fine, but when I was trying to work and I felt bad leaving her on her own, Mark says, you know, we've got three kids, so Kaylee sometimes think about how hard it is with three kids. We've always got one that's left out. Why don't we just, we always say, stick with two kids or have four. Don't have odd numbers, because you've always got one that's on its own. And we were finding that was the case with the puppies. So we made the decision. So the breeder asked me on the Friday if I wanted Coco. Um, and, I says, oh, I need the weekend to think about it. And then on the Monday made the decision and we went, excuse me, little lady. And we went and Mark said, get her. So we went and fetched her and she was home within a couple of hours. 
and it's been the best thing ever having them two together because they do everything together so they're inseparable they do get separation anxiety i'm not gonna lie willow will sit at the bottom of the stairs if i've come upstairs she'll sit at the bottom of the stairs at the gate and cry for me and they love to be snuggled and cuddled they call them velcro dogs um because they are either Come here, Coco. They are either always up your jumper or on your knee or wanting to snuggle and cuddle. Um, any hot spots, they get super, super warm and they love to be super, super warm. Willow, what are you doing? Can I have those now, please? Thank you. Um, don't you? You like, to, um, you like to snuggle and cuddle and they cuddle each other and they like little hot water bottles. Like, she is so warm now. It's lovely. Come and say hi to the camera, Coco. Say hi. Say hi. Hello. Oh, big yawn. She's got no bottom fangs at the moment. I found one on my bed the other day. They're both currently teething at the moment. So she's got... Are you going to show them your teeth? Show them your teeth. She's got... Oh, she's not going to show you. Um, No bottom fangs. Come here. I'll have that, thank you. Yeah, let's put that up there. Out the way. Oh, yeah, so she, they, they're both teething, like I say, at the moment, which is fun. Good girl. Good girl, what you got? What's this? Willow. Willow. So they grow 13 and 15 inches from their toes to their tops of their shoulders. So they are classed as a, um, like a miniature breed. They are classed as a small breed. Um, oh, look how cute she's sat. Can you see her? Willow, come here. Willow, come here. Come here, baby girl. So cute. She's just out of frame, look. They're looking out the window. What are you doing? Can you see him? They're so sweet. So, yeah. So, they have been super, super fun to, um, have around it's kept us super super busy they're absolutely crazy you should see them in the evening when they're doing zoom in girls they've grown so much as well i wish i'd done this sooner and shown you the girls when they were teeny tiny little babies oh we've got one falling off oh oh you go there <laughs> should i monkey that one okay What's this? What's this? Oh, I can see your teeths. I can see your teeths. I can see your teeths. Again, again, again. You're so cute. They do this all the time. They're so close to each other. It's lovely that they're, they're proper sisters from the same litter as well. I was kind of hoping that they were just going to sit and go to sleep in the background because they've been tired and they've been lying up into the fire all day, but clearly not. Clearly they just want to go bonkers. You just want to go bonkers, come here, say hi, say hi. She's so cute, she's got this little white patch on her tummy look. And she's on her little neck. And she's still slightly got blue eyes. Can you look at the camera? Oh, thank you. Um, she had the most beautifulest blue eyes, didn't you? Can you not chew my fingers? When, um, when we first bought her home, and it's starting to change brown now. Bonkers. So they've both got completely different personalities. Willow is very um, outgoing and um, crazy. She's not very shy. She loves everybody. She gets super excited when she sees somebody. Other dogs, oh my gosh, she loves everybody. So when we're out walking, she just wants to go and sniff and investigate everyone. Coco, on the other hand, is... She might not look it here, and she's settled in really, really well with us. Um, but she is, um, she's very shy and timid, and it took her a lot longer. Girls, yeah, what's this? It's your milkshake. It's your milkshake. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. Um, she took a bit longer to settle in when we brought her home. Coco's always been very, very shy. She's. 
um, shy around other dogs. She's fine around our boys and my mum's dogs and other dogs that she's met and she's sort of got to know. But if we're out walking, she will she will always shy away, back off a little bit, want to hide, sort of behind my legs and notice them from a distance. And then she'll go in and investigate when she's feeling a bit better. Hello, we'll just go and she just wants to be friends with everybody, don't you, darling? Okay? You just look, she just loves... My hand's not a toy, there's your toy. She just loves everybody and she loves all the other dogs, which is great. We have just started walking them um, away from everybody else off lead, which they recalls Casey Atif's. Coco, Coco, come here. Coco, see you look. What are you doing? Can you see your little teeth? Coco, Coco, look at me. Coco, here. I have to keep moving the camera around because they keep jumping all over the bed. They're calming down a bit now. Um, but so you can see them in the background. Um, they're too wired at the minute to come and sit on my knee and just chill and hang out. They just want to, um, oh, nice. They want to play at the moment. Um, so yeah, so as I say, we've just started walking them off lead and they're doing really, really well. The recall's doing really, really good as well, which I'm so happy about. I'm just waiting for, I've ordered some super long leads, the fabric ones, um, where you can sort of clip them on. I think they're like 30 meters and they can go off and they're not the retractable ones. So it makes them feel like they're more off lead, um, which I'm going to start to introduce around the park where I take the boys with other dogs to see how they get on. Oh, girls, what are you doing? This is crazy hour now. I've woke them up. They were, as, they were asleep downstairs, but I've woke them up now. They're both completely different. Willow is very outgoing. Coco is very shy. But she is coming out of a shell now um, at home, which is lovely to see that she is. And they say that with Italian greyhounds as well. You've either got one, they're either very outgoing or they're very shy. There's nothing in the middle. And we seem to have got one of each. And it's nice because they, they've both got completely different personalities. One's this end and one's this end. And it's, it, <laughs> it's lovely to see. It's lovely to see her, um, yeah, just coming out of herself a bit now and, and feeling more confident. They're absolutely bonkers though, absolutely bonkers. We've crate trained them as well. So in the crate, we leave it open all day and they can get in there when they want to and then obviously we lock them away at night. We never create train to the boys and I don't know why to be honest, why we never did. But these, best thing we ever did was crate training and I think because they're in a crate together, they've got company, it, we've not had too much of an issue. <laughs> you, you up and down, up and down, up and down. Super delicate little thing. Whoopsie daisy, come on then. Coco, what are you doing? Hello, did you fall off, babe? Come on then, uh, look at me. Can you sit? No, 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 no. Hi, Chester. Chester's had to come in to say hi. Right, girls, up. Up. Good, yes. Good girl. Chester. Good boy. No, Chester. Coco, here. Right, come here. You come in. Up here then. Can you jump up and say hi? Good girl. Willow, what's this? You see the camera? Say hi. This is Chester. I'll do a video to introduce our little Chester. He's so cute. Willow, can I get to sit? Sit. <coughs> Willow, sit. Uh, look at me. Sit. Good girl. Shake. Yes. Good job. Coco, you want to come up here so we can see you? We can't see you down there. Can we? No, we can't. Another thing about the breed is they get... <laughs> She's shaking. Look. Coco's down here. She's like, I want my treat down here. They get super cold. Um, so we've got loads of cute little jumpers and everything for them. They're not quite... Some of them don't quite fit yet. Um, <laughs> What's going on up here? They don't quite fit yet. Um, 
but oh my days, I will insert some clips filming some of their cute stuff. Hello Chester, he's such a good boy, he's getting old now, bless him, aren't you darling? Hey, the girls do your head in a bit, do they? Girls, Coco, be nice. But they adore him, they absolutely adore him. They're like, that's my big brother, I love him so much. Don't you? Yes, you do. Good, that's it, nice and calm is now, aren't you? Coco, you're supposed to be up here so we can see you. You're coming up. Come here, darling. Go there, look, and then I can see you. Now, sit down, sit. Coco, sit. Sit, shake. Yes, good girl, good girl. <laughs> oh, we love you so much, don't we? Ted smells it. That's my finger you're chewing off my hand. Coco. Good girl. Willow, what you got? Willow, what's this? Willow. Willow, woof. Woof. What's that? Woof, woof, woof. What is it? Okay guys, that's enough for me, got out, get on, show you the girls and give you a little bit of how we brought them home, how we found them, why we got new dogs and a little bit about the breed. I know it's all a little bit all over the place. I wasn't prepared, I just thought I'd quickly jump on while I had a quiet afternoon and just, just let you see the girls and just watch them because they are so graceful and so bloody beautiful. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hello. Hello. What are you doing, my baby girl? She's, she's, she wants to go to sleep now. That's what she's doing. Can you see her scratching at my top? This is what she does look. And she's like, Mummy, I want to get in your top. Are you tired? Is it nap time? Is it nap time? Look at that face. Hello. Hello. Say hi. Say hi. So guys, I am going to check out. If you are new, please subscribe. It means so much to me when you guys join our little family here on YouTube. Helps my channel grow. Um, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more and find out more about the Italian Greyhounds, like I was saying, there isn't that much on YouTube um, and what I have found is quite old as well um, so yes yeah, so if you want to see our Italian Greyhounds in life now in 2022 give us a follow hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video when we post and we have got lots and lots of puppy content coming for you all so have an amazing day we wish you all the love and happiness and puppy kisses She's back, look. She's like, Mummy, I want to go in your top. Come on, then. <laughs> Got ya. Got ya. She's in. This is how she likes to sit 99.9% .9 of the day. I think we need to call this All About Willow. Do we need to call it All About Willow? It. she's off now because she's heard something story of my life <laughs>